Hello everyone, let's take a look on the element visibility override hierarchy in Revit. So what does this mean is that if I have more things which are trying to override my graphic display in the view, there will be some precedence one over the other. So I will go from the least one to the most important one, which will be with the highest importance when it comes to the precedence over the graphic overrides. So the first one is the most basic one or the most common one, which is here under object styles, which is basically for the whole project, how it should be presented. So this is the first one. The next one is in the visibility and graphics overrides by the category. If I go here in this example with the wall, I go to walls, to cut line styles, and let's say I would put it on red color. So you can see that now this filter takes precedence over object styles. The next one is visibility graphics overrides, override host layers, cut line styles. So this one is here, also in the visibility and graphics overrides panel. You can see override host layers. Yeah. And if I check it, I have here for the structure, green color. So when I apply it, you can see that this one took precedence over the projection and cut lines from here. So here I have it green, here I have it red, but this one has higher importance, so I can see it in green. The next one is phase graphic overrides. Here under my manage phases, I have my graphic overrides for the phases. You can see now new construction is like this. So if I apply here my phase filter, to new construction, you can see that now it is overridden by the face filter. The next one is view depth beyond line style. To be able to see this beyond line style, we have to have this wall in my view depth. And this wall is 1400 millimeters high. So I need to make sure my view range is in the way that this will be in my view depth so we can see here that this one is my view depth so it's from the bottom until the view depth so here i will put 1500 1500 and now i know that my wall will be inside the view depth and it will use the beyond line style to show it and beyond line style can be found here under additional settings line styles if i press this plus button you can see that beyond and here i have aligning line and the blue color so this is what i see now so the next one above this one is view filters i have here created view filter for the walls which has these settings and you can see that if i enable this filter and apply it it is overridden by the filter the next one is override graphics in view by element. If I right click the element, go to override graphics in view by element, and I would set projection lines, let's say to solid and this color. It's the same color. So let's use this color so you can see that now it is overridden with this setting the next one is graphic display option silhouette edges which can be found here graphic display options silhouette and let's say i would put wide lines so now this, now it is represented with this one the next one is override graphics in view by element half tone so you can see that now it is overridden with this setting and the last one is line work tool which can be found on the modify here or by pressing the shortcut lv and let's say that i would go with the demolished and here you can see it so these were 10 ways 
of the hierarchy in the element visibility override in Revit. And the most important one, the one with the highest hierarchy or the highest priority is the line work tool. So now we can go backwards and let's see what it does. So first I will remove the line work tool. You can see that it has the silhouette edges and half tone. Then I would remove half tone, which is the second one. Now it uses silhouette edges. If I remove silhouette edges, now it is using override graphics in view by element. If I remove that one, now it is using the view filter. If I remove my view filter, now it is using view depth beyond line style. Now if I go back to cutting, it is using my phasing graphic overrides. If I remove my face filter, it is using the visibility graphics overrides, override host layers. This one, if I remove that one, now it is using the visibility and graphics category overrides. And if I remove even this one, then it is back to project object styles.